up? It's your boy Heaven Hollywood back on the IE Network, and this is the Heaven Hollywood Report. So let's get to it. And we got a couple of things to talk about here, a couple of topics. So we're just going to start it off with Jennifer Yu. Now, to bring you up to speed, Jennifer, there was um, a, a video that resurfaced. It was actually a video of her speaking uh, on... You know, trying to go to the court the day of the sentencing and um, recant, you know, the charge, what have you. She said that she wasn't able to do that. Uh, there was uh, clips that later on her lawyer uh, debunked as, well, um, said was fake, edited, chopped up, what have you. Um, it, that's, you know, it, these videos were out a couple hours that sparked him to make a statement and uh she finally has spoken so jennifer says i've tried to move on with my life but every time i'm reminded of my painful past that i struggle to deal with privately publicly i never wanted to go public i never wanted to have to discuss these painful memories with the world i was forced into that because of lies that were told about me and my story my story has never changed but the constant manipulation by the media by the media is what continues to cause confusion, even when it was obtained that I was a white woman falsely accusing a black man of a crime. I remained silent until I began to be contacted by individuals who had the audacity to want me to recap my story to help my abuser with his current legal issues. I was 16 years old when I was violated with a knife, even then opening up about what happened to me was putting me and my family in danger as a result of the threats that followed my foster family encouraged me to attempt to drop the charges in court. Despite my personal pain and feelings, I stated this on The Real and countless other interviews on other platforms. This is the same thing that was opening up about in this resurfaced clip. I just want to be left alone. I don't talk to anyone. I'm tired of getting harassed. I don't talk to blogs and I damn sure can't manipulate the media the way that these people are. Victim shaming and blaming is never okay. Sometimes I wonder if a 16-year-old me should have never said anything because it seems over 20 years, it still caused me nothing but pain. I pray that if you are anyone you love, uh, if you or anyone you love ever found themselves in my shoes, that your compassion and support would be much different regardless of who your abuser decides to associate themselves with. And that was from Jennifer Yu. Um, her statement um, after, you know, the resurfaced clips of what she said was the same thing she'd been saying, but the clips, uh, according to her lawyer, was chopped up and edited, so... That was her response um, on everything. So, just good luck to all parties. And we're going to move on. As far as my take goes on that, the only thing I really want to say is, like I said, um, all parties involved know exactly what happened. They know who's lying. Whoever's lying, know they're lying. Whoever's telling the truth, know they're telling the truth. And uh, hopefully... You know, everybody can just go on with their lives. Um, let this be whatever they have to do in court. Let them solve it in co resolve it in court. Jennifer, if, if I was Jennifer, I would just get off of social media. Um, you know, or if you're going to be on social media, I would disable all my comments so nobody can see it. Disable my DMs and what have you. So, uh, once again, good luck to all parties involved and may the truth prevail. Moving on to Nicki Minaj, and she released a compilation album uh, tonight, uh, uh, Friday. She released a compilation album, 28 tracks, and it is entitled Queen Radio Volume 1. Now, this consists of uh, previous release tracks, you know, all the tracks. It's like a kind of like a greatest hits type of album. Um, so she released this album, like I said, 28 joints. And the funny thing is somebody, um, I had seen this about seven days ago. 
somebody had put, I believe it was on Twitter, uh, that this was happening. And I'm going to be honest with you. I thought they were trolling. I'm like, yeah, right. You know, I never believe those fan pages or those hate pages or whatever. I was at, when they said she's going to put out a 28 song compilation album. All right. And, and that's her fifth album because her fifth album is not ready. And she's putting out the album. And they said the uh, album cover is going to be a wig. So, like I said, I was like, yeah, right. But then this gets released. And it was exactly what um, this person had said. Let me go back and try to find what that person had said. Well, I'm not going to post what the person said. But it was basically that they were uh, that she was putting out a 28-song compilation album entitled Queen Radio and she said that the album cover is going to be her pink wig and this is the album cover it's exactly as that, what that person said I mean, so all the other stuff in between is pretty nasty so I'm not going to repeat that but this person did say this was coming and I, and I totally didn't believe her <laughs> now it's interesting that Nicki Minaj drops this now. Um, is this going to bridge over to her fifth album? Or is this like this person said, the fifth album isn't ready? You know, unless they have inside sources. Um, you know, if they know somebody on the inside, they could get that sort of information. I'm not so sure. I don't, you know, not sure what type of connections or what have you the person has. But I do know that they said this was going to happen, and it did. So, um, shout out to Nicki Minaj for dropping this, uh, um, collector's item, the, I guess you can call it like a greatest hits album, and it said volume one, um, Queen Radio. Went on to this sexy, sexy, sexy ass woman, and it is Anita. So, Anita, um, fresh off dropping her record with Missy Elliott. I do like that record. Um, She leads the Billboard poll as the performer fans look forward most to watching at this year's VMAs. So, um, and of course, we know the VMAs is on August 28th. Um, Anita has really been putting in work and she's starting to get that reputation of being an exciting performer. Let me know what you think. Are you looking forward to seeing Anita? At the VMAs, is that the person you're most looking forward to? I was surprised when I saw this, but I have been hearing that Anita does know how to put on a great performance. So we'll definitely be checking her out. Let me know down in the comments if you can't wait to see Anita at the VMAs. Moving on to that girl, Brittany Jean Spears. And I think, (laughs) I think it's still Brittany Jean Spears. Um, If it isn't, uh, Britney Spears and Sir Elton John, and they knew, they dropped their new song, Hold Me Closer. Now, everyone is giving her high praise. I think the song shot up to number five on iTunes quickly. Vogue magazine says she does things with her vocal tone that all other pop girlies simply can't do. That's why she's the true princess of pop. Mm, high praise. Now, I uh, definitely took a listen to this, jumped on YouTube and listened to it, and I'm going to be honest with you, I think the song is trash. I think the song is trash. I expected way more hearing from Britney, you know, after all these years. You know, it sounds like, to me, like they were trying to protect her voice too much, and, it, you know, the song sounded a lot like they were singing together, like, through the whole song. You know, her voice was kind of low. Now... Britney Spears has been singing a long time. She doesn't need protection from anyone on a song. She will figure it out. She's a professional singer. Now, the only thing is, unless she just can't sing no more. I mean, she just can't sing anymore. You can't hold notes anymore. And you're trying to use Elton John to try to camouflage her. You know, that's a whole nother different story. But... As I said, I'm glad she's getting praised. I really am. Um, I hope the song does well. I hope Britney gets a number one and gets back in, you know, people's good graces because I want to see Britney win. 
You know, but me personally, I think this song is garbage. So y'all let me know what you think. Do you think Britney is the princess of pop? Or do you think it's Rihanna? Do you think it's Adele? Do you think it's uh, Mariah Carey? Let me know. Or, or Britney Spears. A lot of people think it's Britney Spears. Moving on and closing it out with the Jigga Man. Now, Jay-Z is on DJ Khaled's new album, God Did. And he's on the title track, which is entitled God Did. On that track is Jay-Z, Rick Ross, Lil Wayne. Jay-Z anchors the track. And let me tell you something. If there was ever any question that Jay-Z was the GOAT, let's let's end those let's end those questions. Let's send those questions. This man is what? 55 years of age? <laughs> I mean, you know, people say, oh, he's only 52, 53, right? But um that's his stage age. His real age, he's probably closer to about 55 years old. And Jay-Z just put on a lyrical exhibition and just absolutely destroying any rapper of today, of tomorrow, and of yesteryear. Okay? So anyone who says Jay-Z isn't all that, just go back and listen to What's Free, and now listen to this, you know, this song God Did. Some of the lyrics that he said on here. Hove did, please, Lord, forgive me for what the stove did. Nobody touched the billy until Hove did. How many billionaires can come from Hove's crib? Huh? I count three. Me, yay, and re. That's facts. Bronze a rock boy, so four technically. I left the dope game with my record clean. Huh, I turned the cocaina into champagne. Huh, I cleaned up La Madrina with the same soap. <laughs> Me and Lauro talk about how we slang dope. Now we the weed in stores. Can you believe this, Ty? I put my hustle on the Forbes. Can you believe this guy? Then we said F it and took the dope public out the mud. They got to face you now. You can't make up this S. Judge it how you judge it. Say we going corporate. Nah, we just corner boys with the corner office. I'm at the cap table. What the splits is. Not the cap table. Boy, we live this. Not the ca We at the crap table. What the splits is, not the cap table. Boy, we lived, oh my goodness. Let me tell y'all something, man. This dude is out rapping you youngins. I don't ever, when they ask you who the GOAT is, please don't say Lil Wayne. Please don't say Drake. Please don't say Future. Please don't say Kendrick. Don't say J. Cole. The GOAT is Jay-Z. Period. Let me tell you how he closed it out. And he said that. He said, Hove big. They said they don't know me internationally. Niggas on the road did. I see a lot of Hove and gigs. Me and Meek could never beef. I freed that nigga from a whole bid. Hove did. Next time we have a discussion, who the goat? You donkeys know this. <laughs> so, D, uh, DJ Khaled, his new album, God Did. <laughs> and this is God Did with Jay Z, Rick Ross, and Lil Wayne. Lil Wayne's uh, uh, verse was great. Rick Ross' verse was great, but the Jigga Man. I'll never call a grown man Hove, but Jay-Z is the GOAT.
Point blank period. It's your boy Heaven Hollywood for the IE Network. Please like, comment, subscribe, and share this video with your friends.